Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I'm not sure what's going on here, but Re Renee did a restore on her computer back to factory settings and trying to put the programs that we had bought. She bought this from college when she was going to college. And she was able to use this program over and over and over again as long as she went through the Microsoft Activation, Activation Wizard. Well, now she tries uh, activating it. I'm now saying that the product cannot be activated because the product key is not valid. Evidently, for some unknown reason, Microsoft no wonder no longer wants her to use this program. So you know that I don't know. like to find a, a, a you know phone number other than this one here to call them see so right here need to activate a different version of you know like office streets that's what they want they want her to activate another version of windows Instead of the Windows 2010. So evidently they're no longer supporting Windows 2010. But she can put the, uh, you know, uh, Office 2007, which I have a program for. But she doesn't like it. She wants the, this one here that she bought and paid for. But, you know, programs... You know, they can be manipulated, especially by people that uh, think they're so smart. But when it comes right down to it, they're, they're actually dumb. I'm trying to hand her the computer. So that uh, I can do something else. Straighten it up there. Push it over that way, hon. Hun. Okay. Um. Anyhow, long story short, here I gotta get up here and help her real quick. Plug in the, the power. Hold it down. Sorry. Hold it down so I can move the uh, screen back for you. All right. Now, sorry about this. This person down in uh, Virginia. First of all, let me read you something. Let me read you the scripture. And you know, I don't care if you don't like the scripture. I don't care. It, you know, that's your loss. Your loss that you're not right with God. You think you might be a Christian. You're not a Christian. You are cut off from the vine the video I did yesterday means that you're cut off from the vine and if you want to believe all these false preachers that says we accept you we love you now you're if you're a Christian you know you can go on with your sinful life because you're saved by grace and grace me gives you the uh, the freedom to sin. No, it doesn't. You want to believe those false preachers? Don't come to my YouTube channel. Don't come to my Facebook channel. Give me back, I mean, my Facebook page. Give me back my controls. Because the authorities are going to be coming with you after you with a warrant for your arrest. I'm going to tell the authorities up here, I placed you under arrest. 
under Ohio law for menacing by stalking. It's a fourth degree felony. I showed you. Fourth degree felony. I can place you under arrest. And therefore the authorities have to arrest you. The scripture says, the Bible says, God's word says in Leviticus. Leviticus 18. Twenty-two, you shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It's an abomination. Abomination, 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 abomination. You, Christian Chandler, you're an abomination to God. You're an abomination. You shouldn't even be accepted. Because even in, uh, like I said, uh, First Corinthians 5. We're supposed to put people, people like you away from us. Not have anything to do with you. Those pastors, those preachers, those uh, uh, priests that want to accept you. See, you sent me two emails. One tell me that if I apologize to you and your other gay friends, then you're giving me back control. So you know what? You just admitted in an email. Now see, Facebook and uh, YouTube, they consider that as free speech. But when you send an, an email, a direct communication to me, then you have incriminated yourself. You incriminated yourself. And then you sent the other one said, Oh, if you open up the uh, email, I sent you a virus. Then I've been getting uh, emails also from this uh, Clyde uh, Cash character. Clyde Cash. And he even uh, is trying to say that my ministry belongs to him. He sent me several emails to my personal email and to my ministry email. But see, this Clyde Cash character is supposed to live somewhere else. According to all his... Uh, uh, Facebook sites that he has. He has many Facebook sites. So he's all over the world. Even even with this one here. Uh, that he created with my name. It's supposed to be uh, in another country. I know you, you people are, are together. Because of the fact... This is uh, Christian Chandler's address. This is not no attorney's address. This is a uh, Christian Chandler's address. I didn't send it to me. He sent it to me. Because it's postmarked. Uh, actually, it's postmarked from uh, Shreveport, yeah, Louisiana. So... He must live close to Louisiana. Where the mail goes there and comes out, you know. Trying to pretend to be a lawyer. You're trying to, you're trying to be an, pretend to be an officer of the court. That's what an attorney is. An officer of the court. Saying, oh, I'm defaming you. You're the one that's defaming me. Making those websites. All because I believe in this Bible. I believe in the God's truth.
the truth of the word of God. And I'm not going to bend, I'm not going to bow, and I'm not going to burn, and I'm not going to say I'm sorry for believing in this. And if you don't like it, Christian Chandler, I don't care. You're going to burn in hell for what you're doing. You're going to burn in hell. There's a special hell for people like you. You're going to be thrown into the fiery pit along with Satan and his demons. Because you're evil. You might say uh, I'm a, you're a high-functioning uh, autistic, but you're evil. And you know what? I don't care what Renee's stepfather thinks because it's the truth. Come over here. You know where I live at. Tell me to my face that I'm not preaching the truth. You won't want to do that because I can have you arrested as well. No one can come to doubt, tell me that I cannot preach on the internet. And you stop you also stop messing with Pastor Paul Begley and other preachers that's on the internet. Stop it now. This is the last warning. And before I close, I want to say this. that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but by and only through Him. You need to be born again. You need to ask Jesus to be, come into your heart and to forgive you of your sins. Doesn't mean you're free to stay in your sins. What did Jesus tell the woman that was being accused of adultery? All those guys around her with stones that was going to stone her? Well, for one thing, he says, I condemn you. He said, well, you know, he asked them what she's being accused of. And they and uh, they dropped their stones, they walked away, and then she said, Woman, where's your accusers? I don't accuse you. But he didn't say stay in your sin. He said, Go and sin no more. He didn't say, you can stay being an adulteress and, 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 and you know, be, be accepted by me. He said, go and sin no more. That was a command. A command, a direct command from Jesus. Go and sin no more. I forgive you, but you need to go and sin no more. What part of that don't you understand? All you LGBT. People will smoke and drink and carry on party. You're worshiping a false god. I gotta calm down because let me tell you something. My sugar's been elevated because of all this. My doctor said, oh, you need to calm down. Well, you know what? It's easier said than done when I'm being put in a vice. When I'm being persecuted, when I'm being uh, put through tribulation. <laughs> Thing is, you put down Robert McKim. You didn't put down evangelist or reverend or doctor or anything like that. Love, joy, yeah, right, love, joy, McMillan and Associates. I sent my attorney's copy of the letter, and I've also sent the authorities up here a copy of the letter. And I also told them, hey, I want you uh, placed under arrest for menacing by stalking. At least get something going. 
God bless you. Have a blessed day.